C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Speak Some More, my name is Oros88 and today as you can see I actually got, uh, well, got a lot of things changed in this world. Uh, first of all, uh, my appearance. Um, so recently Minecraft turned 15 years, hooray! And in that celebration they are giving away a lot of uh, cosmetics and a lot of stuff free on the marketplace. Uh, including some maps that I am actually thinking of maybe visiting in a separate video and yeah uh, this is what I'm rocking right now this is my new outfit and of course we have the new cape uh, the 15 years anniversary cape that they just uh, dropped and what I like the most about this is that if you actually put on your elytra your elytra takes the same uh, texture, which I think it's quite amazing. <laughs> and yeah, uh, also my uh, jacket, it's new, it's the redstone uh, themed jacket that they are giving away. My uh, eyes changed color as well. <laughs> and I just, I just thought it was like a little bit of a good change for us to not get stale in this. And yeah. Uh, another thing that you might actually have noticed is that on my left hand I actually have a totem of undying and that's because in between episodes I've triggered um, two maybe three raids uh, near the outpost on the on the cherry blossom forest and yeah uh, that was just because I thought I'd, I needed actually some totems of undying if you remember I actually got some uh, early on in the series and uh, yeah uh, by now I have quite a lot more <laughs> because of the looting 3 so yeah we have now a lot more totems uh, for us to avoid dying and of course uh, the third thing that you can actually notice here is where I'm actually standing up right now which is a guardian farm as you can see um, this is a very basic one, very very basic one. Uh, it took me quite a long time to set it up though. And uh, this is what I've... Um, let me place my armor just in case. This is what I've uh, gotten so far. So I searched for a tutorial on internet uh, just to know where the guardian spawns uh, usually are and they all kind of um, made similar posts about making this kind of grid because apparently uh, the guardians just appear like in columns of water so you have to stop them from spawning there but I don't know what I did wrong maybe here because guardians still spawn here like a lot of them a lot of them still spawn here and that makes my uh, my farm um, well less reliable <laughs> to say the least uh, because all of them spawns like over here but on the water once I go up there on the water inside this uh, bubble elevator oh no okay, um, they actually do spawn and they actually do go up <laughs> and, and work on the farm but the rates are quite quite slow so maybe I will have to upgrade this to another design maybe I saw one by Silent Whisperer which I actually thought was quite nice but it's a little bit more complicated for my taste I'm not so well versed on redstone and mechanisms and all that stuff but yeah basically this farm runs with um, a trident system more uh, very well like uh, like our creeper farm over there uh, so yeah this was not like new for me I just thought maybe this was a good system for me to use um, but yeah um, that's new so I've been AFKing here for quite a while since I've been working on other stuff in real life <laughs> I just left my avatar here uh, AFKing and 
uh, yeah, my levels went up like a lot. I started this uh, AFK session with 33 levels, and look at it. Look at it now. We're 71 uh, right now, and yeah, uh, quite a good loot. Oh, this is kind of disappointing, but yeah, this one's al almost full. After maybe I think this was five or six hours. Uh, of me working and just uh, standing here um, so yeah those are the main three changes that you can see right away again my appearance uh, let me just take off my things my appearance my totems of undying and my new shiny form of guardians <laughs> and the reason I made uh, this farm is just because I want to start working on the other farms that we are actually meant to build underwater uh, on our base, and for that I need I need all of those juicy blocks, <laughs> which I cannot uh, get any other way uh, unless it's on a farm. So yeah, my my intention is to start working on this uh, subterranean sub uh, subaquatic <laughs> part of of our base. Uh, I want to place this on a proper form. I want to do like a little bit of a sunken plaza of some sort where where all of these farms are going to be. And yeah, that's one of the main reasons I started doing that. And as you can remember, I also was working on another subterranean uh, project which I've already finished and I want to show you guys. Uh, and that's uh, down on the mines. If you remember, I showed you uh, the new structures of the tunnel, the main tunnel that we were going to use to go down there. And I also showed you the a rudimentary system of furnaces that I'm feeding with lava and all that stuff. And I told you I was going to work on the tunnel connecting this one, this base, to uh, the uh, cave system basically that is up right there. And that's what I've been doing. Uh, so yeah, down below here we have reached a uh, lava level and we have been gathering a little bit more materials uh, from our mines. But um, yeah, I, I will show you first here like analog way of doing this. So yeah, this is it. As you can see, uh, I've made this uh, like old texture tunnel. I'm not quite sold about all of these plants but I do think it looks kind of nice because it's it, it, it I, I think I achieved my goal of making this uh, um, a lush cave wannabe <laughs> cave <laughs> by myself so yeah I'm, I'm quite pleased with the results I love uh, the water uh, the, the water ponds here like all around uh, the rail systems and I also realized that we had a, a geode here so I made like an abandoned uh, bridge here as well just so we could know that there was like some kind of easy access to this place and now we can actually gather here a, a lot of uh, these crystals which I have done twice I think so yeah I'm stacked on those crystals now um, and that's good because I need those crystals for me to craft uh, the newer version of glass that blocks light. I'm, I'm not um, remembering right now the name of that block, but yeah, uh, that one we will need for the spider, uh, the spider farms back on the cherry groove, which we talked about a few episodes back as well. So yeah, this is basically all the. Uh, well, the, the new caves, I, I've also closed stuff because this was like just a mess of um, tons of open spaces and open um, hallways where we could uh, like gather more materials, which I did, of course, but I didn't want it to look like all that mess uh, open up here. So I just closed it off with some more texturing. And yeah, this is this is basically the end result and this is what I've been working on the past few days uh, in between episodes so let me just go back here and I wanna show you like the full um, travel 
uh, that, that, I, that I kind of built here. I'm quite pleased with the results actually, I think it looks organic, it looks natural and yeah, uh, let's, let's just see it as, as it is intended, if I can get in of course. Oh, look at this, so smooth. I love this. And I think it does create like that tunnel sensation once you ride it on the minecart. Here's the only issue that I have because the carts slow down quite a lot and I'm afraid someday uh, they're just gonna stop there. So yeah, this is the, the main base. Whoa, another one? I'm not kidding you, just while playing this and, and, and building all of this, I've already had like four or five maybe uh, thunderstorms, so this is another one, which is kind of weird, but yeah. Uh, so this is uh, the connection, the base that I was talking about. Uh, here's where uh, the minecart stop, and I've, I've made just a very simple decoration here. I didn't want it to cluster up. So yeah, this is very similar to the same building which um, uh, from we from where we uh, uh, came from, and I just made a, a little bit of a desk here, some sort of uh, storage system here, and I realized since this is now the new entrance for the zombie spawner, I thought why not have uh, nearby uh, an enchanting system. So yeah, this is this is an enchanting table up to 30 levels. Uh, well, level le level 30. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, let's quickly go down here just to show you guys the new entrance. I placed a, a new chair here so I can AFK um, comfortably here. And uh, yeah, other other than this, uh, this is actually just the same that we already had. Uh, the the zombie chamber is right here, and now you go down here and kill all the zombies just on one shot. Well, not one shot with your fist, but the sword. So yeah, <laughs> and yeah, this is this is basically the new entrance for this uh, zombie spawner, which I think. We left abandoned for quite a long time. Now uh, it was just uh, just right for us to do right by them. <laughs> so yeah, this is a little bit of a look here. Of course, we have doors, so we can still go out in the caves here in case we need it or in case we want to. And um, if we take this other one. This will lead us to the, the huge cave system that we've already gathered. Uh, I think in episode 5 or 6, something like that. Uh, this I just decided to do a one, one way rail. Uh, and I didn't uh, want it to like cave all the way here in, to do a, a two rail system. So yeah, this is a simpler one. A little bit more uh, bumpy right <laughs> here, but yeah, this is the cave system that we've already um, explored, and of course our uh, our base, which if you remember, this is the first underground base that we made on the whole series. So yeah, now it's all connected, <laughs> and I'm pretty pleased uh, with the results. I I really think they uh, this this kind of aesthetic work needed to be done at some point. So yeah, I decided why not right now. I mean, <laughs> I was just stalling with it. So yeah, this is this is what I've been up to in the la in the past few episodes. Uh, a little bit more of an aesthetic uh, upgrade in every sense of the of the expression. Uh, new buildings, new outfits. Uh, new forms which will serve as well for aesthetic purposes so yeah um, that's why I didn't uh, bother on, on uh, recording all of this process because I thought it was going to be a little bit boring wow that storm is quite huge 
uh, it could be a little bit boring for you to just watch me build and detail all of this stuff. Uh, although, if you are actually interested in, in me showing you that process, I mean, let me know and, and I, I, I'll, see what I <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is a little bit of a shorter episode, I think, but yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to show you guys for today's episode. I don't think um, it's safe for me to actually go outside right now, right? Because mobs are going to be spawning. Uh, yeah, no, I'll go back to the caves, just in case. Yeah, 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 I hear them. Oof. Let's see if we can sleep down here. But yeah, a little bit of a shorter episode. I don't know why I keep hearing zombies right here. Maybe I should cave a little bit just in case there's... Yeah, you hear that? There's water and there's zombies. And there's mobs, definitely. I don't know. I'll check it out maybe some other time. Oh, where's my bed? Oh, I left it. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll just see what I can do in between episodes. But yeah, a little bit of a shorter episode today, guys. Uh, I really hope you are enjoying. And if you are, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.